Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we will see how you can create a self-paced course as an instructor in WizIQ. So the very first step is you will log into the platform as an instructor. The moment you log into the platform you can see as a landing screen the list of courses which you have already created. On the bottom right you can see an option from where you can start creating your self-paced course number one option is select the type of the course do you want to create it as a free course or as a paid one if you choose the paid then you can also define the amount which you want to charge from the students the second option is who can view the course if you choose to all the visitors which means your course will be visible on the pre login stage of your training academy if you choose only to the registered users of academy which means those users who already have a login id and the password will be able to see this course the third option is only to the users you enroll which means the course will not be visible to anyone unless you specifically invite or enroll a particular user you can also also have multiple co-instructors in your course who will assist you while the course will be delivered so we can add up to two co-instructors in a single course then you can see there is an enforced sequencing option which means that do you want to define a sequential learning path for your users or not now if you check this box this will enable a particular sequence and while the learner is accessing the course he cannot jump to any content haphazardly whatever learning sequence you have defined he will have to follow the same pattern you can also enable and disable the discussion forums depending upon your requirement let's go to the step number two here you start defining the entire curriculum for your online course so let's start with the course title you can see there is an option from where we can start adding the sections or modules you can also edit the titles of the section and rename them as per your requirement now you can see that we have created three sections and we have also defined appropriate titles as a next step you can start adding the activities in each of the modules which you are designing within the course so let's start with the module number one which is introduction to English now when I click on add activity you find three options here files recorded class and test now files means that you can upload any kind of digital content as a part of this course so the moment you click on file it gives you this particular window wherein you can either browse the content from your desktop computer or you can add it from the existing library so let's start uploading the content using the desktop you can choose the file and once you have chosen the file you can see that the file will get uploaded then there are two basic settings which you need to define before you push it to a specific course number one allow other users to download the file which means do you want your learners to download the file while they are accessing it in this case we will not allow another one is is this a required activity now while the learner is consuming the course you can define that how many activities you want to have as a required or a mandatory activity so if we choose this as yes then this particular content will become a mandatory activity for a specific course you can also add a description in case you want then we will click on continue now you see that your content has been added as a part of module number one and this is a powerpoint presentation similarly let's go back to the files option again and uh, let us upload a file from the existing library again I will decide whether it's a mandatory content or an optional content and then I will click on add to course once I go back then you will find that this PDF file has been uploaded as a part of module number one now we will add few content files on the module number two as well in this case let's upload a recorded class so again you can choose the recorded lecture which you want to use within the course and click on add to course so now you see here we have uploaded a PowerPoint presentation, a PDF file, a recorded lecture, an Excel sheet. Let us upload one document file as well. In the last section, uh, we will upload an online assessment which you want your users to go through. So I'll click on add an activity again and you will see there is a test option and uh, we will create a fresh assessment here. 
you can also add a description and uh, certain instructions in case you want you can define the weightage of each question if you want to have a negative marking you can choose as yes or no you can also define a time duration for your assessment and most importantly you can define what is the minimum passing score for this particular assessment if I click on advanced settings then you can define the number of attempts do you want your users to review the assessment once they have done it do you want to show the correct answers while they are reviewing the assessment and do you want to shuffle the sections questions and answer choices in step 2 we will see how we can add questions into an online assessment so there are multiple ways you can either add question one by one from here or you can choose it from the existing assessment or you can also choose a file from your desktop computer so in this case let's upload a bulk CSV so that uh, all the questions can be uploaded in one go you can see here in this assessment we have three sections and uh, there are five questions overall the final step is you will go to the next option and publish the assessment within the course so you can see here publish and add to course once I click on this option then you can see that this particular test will become a part of my module number three which is self-assessment the last part of the self-paced course creation is adding up the course metadata so you can define a subtitle to the course you can define course highlights these are very very important because while the learner is going through the course he should be able to see the highlights as to what are the things which are most important in this course which he will be learning as he'll go through the course you can also define the overview which will give a thorough description of the course which you will deliver as an instructor you can also have your course logo uploaded within the course once you have uploaded the logo you can see the preview here you can also choose the language of instruction which you will use while delivering the course and finally you will click on publish course immediately after publishing my course the screen will give me a message that your course has been successfully created please refresh the courses page to view the course in the course list so we will refresh this page once and now you see that the course which we have just created will become visible to you and if I click on the title of the course then you can track the entire information which you have just uploaded so you can see this is the overview we can also see the profiles of the instructors on the right hand side you can see how many document files we have uploaded how many assessments we have created and you also have an option of previewing the course as a learner so this is how your entire course schedule is gonna look like from the perspective of your online learners if I click on the schedule then you can find out the entire schedule which you have just created you can see in section 1 we uploaded three files in section 2 we uploaded a recorded classroom an excel sheet a document file and in the last section we have uploaded a self-assessment this is the discussion forum in case somebody posts any discussion topic here you can see that as an instructor and this is the people tab from where you can start enrolling your online learners so these were the steps using which you can easily create a self-paced course in WizIQ let's do a quick overview the step number one is you will log in as an instructor and click on self-paced course in step number two you will decide whether your course is a free course or a paid course whether it's visible to everyone or only to the users you enroll whether you want to have a learning path defined along with the discussion forum step number three is you will start creating the entire curriculum which you have already planned for this course step number four you can start defining course metadata so that whenever a learner is exploring the course he should be able to understand what he's gonna learn while he is accessing the course and step number five is you can publish and see how your course looks like thank you so much for watching this video tutorial I hope that using this video you will easily be able to create a self-paced course in WizIQ